guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be doing my favorite products from e.l.f., best of e.l.f. slash e.l.f. one brand tutorial. I'm really excited because I have been wanting to film this video for over a month now. It has been on my list and e.l.f. actually reached out to me around the time when I was getting ready to film this video and I was like, Yes! I absolutely love e.l.f. and I'm so incredibly grateful to be working with them today. So thank you so much to e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I cannot believe it! I have been using e.l.f. since I first started getting into makeup because it's such an affordable brand. You guys know that. It's always been affordable. It's cruelty-free worldwide. Their products don't have any parabens in it and their skincare is also free from sulfates. So it's just all around such a great brand. I love their products. I love their makeup brushes. So we're gonna dive into a ton of their things today and chat about them and I'm gonna let you guys know of course why I love them and we're gonna do a little fall makeup look it's gonna be a long video so definitely grab a snack grab your makeup brushes grab your elf goodies so that we can get ready together and yeah hope you guys are doing well and let's just go ahead and jump into it so we are starting off with a fresh bare face so the first thing that I'm actually doing is moisturizing my lips I already have some product on but I'm gonna add a little bit more because I don't want you guys looking at dry lips when I'm doing my makeup so I always moisturize beforehand so today I'm actually using the elf cosmetics lip lacquer this one is just in the shade clear and this is just basically a clear gloss you could use this before makeup you could use this over top of gloss lip liner lipstick or just just on its own it's just a really creamy gloss it's really shiny makes your lips look wet and it's not sticky so I'm gonna use some of this right now I love me just a good clear gloss this is actually like really really hydrating and it just feels really good on the lips so I feel like every single person needs to have a clear gloss in their makeup collection so you should definitely get this one because it's literally under five dollars so so of course I'm gonna start off with the brows today I'm gonna go in with the elf ultra precise brow pencil this one is in the shade neutral brown it is just a really precise brow pencil it has a tiny tip a spoolie on the end perfect for mimicking brow hairs outlining your brows or filling them in today of course I'm gonna outline them you can just see how easy that is to do. And this color I think is a really good shade for me as well. So it's just a really good formula. It's not drying, it's not overly creamy. So like it's not gonna break when you are filling in your brows. It's just really, really nice. And I love the spoolie on the end. I feel like I can be really precise when I outline my brows. It used to take me like, not even kidding, sometimes 15, 20 minutes to do my brows, but I've just gotten the hang of it so much within the past like, year or so. I don't like the inner corners to be too boxy so I'll go in with the spoolie and kind of just clean that up a little bit. Then I'm going to use the e.l.f. lock on liner and brow cream. This one is in the shade espresso. Ever since I dyed my hair I have been using this because it is a little bit of a darker brow color than what I typically use and it matches perfectly. It's not like straight up black but it is much darker than like a traditional dark brown so I feel like with my dark roots it's perfect. I love this formula. It is so creamy. It's really soft. It glides on. It doesn't dry out. So this is pretty much all that I've been using. I talked about it in my favorites video and I'm still loving it. And to fill in the brows, I'm using the e.l.f. 203 brush. Okay, I'm going to clean these brows up really quick and then I'll be right back and we'll move into the eyeshadow. Okay, then to go ahead and prime the lids, I'm just going to use their traditional eyelid primer. This one is just in the shade Sheer. I love this. I think it's great. Makes your shadows last and... I've never had any issues with it. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid, bringing it up to the brow bone. If you have super oily lids, I definitely recommend setting. I personally don't have oily lids, but I like to set anyways, just to assure that I have a nice even base. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend in that primer. If you guys watch my videos, you know I literally use this brush every single time I do my makeup to blend out the concealer around my brows, to blend out the concealer in my inner corners, and then to blend out the primer, it's just, so good, it really is a flawless concealer brush. So I've tried a lot of different eyeshadows from e.l.f. and my absolute favorite ones are the 18 pan shadow ones. I think these are great. You get a really good variety of mattes and shimmers and they have a few different of these palettes. But today I'm actually gonna use the new Classics palette which is their cool tone version. I love it. I also do love the Opposites Attract palette which has a little bit more warm tones in it. I've used these before in tutorials and I really like the formula. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Cream in the palette just to set my primer.
Then I'm gonna go into the shade Truffle and Darling, which they're basically like the same color. Darling is a little bit darker than Truffle, but I'm gonna take those in my crease. And to blend that in, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Fluffy Eye Blender brush. This has been my go-to crease brush. I really like the size of it. I think it's perfect for your transition colors. I love these two together. If you're ever on the go, you could even take these two shades and just pop them in the crease, do some mascara or falsies, and you're good. So I'm really gonna just build these colors up. I'm starting off with a little bit of product and then building it up because these shades are really, really pigmented, so. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Muse, which is more of a chocolate brown, just to slightly define the crease a little bit more. Use a different brush. Of course, I'm going to blend this out. I like to just kind of place the colors down first so that I get an idea of what I'm doing because even like sometimes I plan my looks, but they never turn out how I plan them. So eventually, I really just end up winging everything in my life especially makeup taking that fluffy eye blending brush once again this doesn't really have any additional product just a little bit of the leftover that we were using i'm gonna take that and kind of just blend out those edges i'm gonna use an elf contour brush for the eyes i love this for the lower lashes but today i'm actually just going to use this for deepening up the crease just a little bit more and i'm gonna go into the shade noir which is just a black pretty much just on the outer V of my eye. I've been doing so many like bolder looks lately, so today's look is going to be very neutral. If you guys wanna see some more color, check out some of my recent tutorials because today we are just keeping it simple. I wanna do more black, so. I'm just taking more of that color. So at this point, I'm taking the black and I'm taking the brown color that I was using, which is called Muse, kind of mixing the two and I'm just smudging everything together and just using it to blend. I like both of these colors together. I love using black and brown on the outer crease. I feel like the colors just look good on everyone. Like this look is very universal. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Blanc, which is looks like a really nice white color, but it has a slight sheen to it. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna dip and then I'm gonna spray my brush just so that the color sticks a little bit better. I'm using my e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist, which we're gonna actually use later on in the video. I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna really Pack it on. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Platinum and I'm gonna actually take this with my finger. And I'm gonna just sort of blend that right on the center of my lid. That's just going to really help to blend out that really white shade that we used with the black. And of course, I'm going to blend out those edges even more with a brush. I really want to diffuse those two colors together. I don't want the white to be so choppy. I'm playing with cool tones, you guys. I usually always play with warm tones, but I was just feeling it today. I think it's this jean jacket. Because I really like to match what I'm wearing with my makeup or my makeup with what I'm wearing. And... I'm just loving this. So I'm just gonna do my lashes really quick. I'm gonna use the faux mink lashes. These are in the style Drama Queen. These are so beautiful, very wispy, and e.l.f. lashes are really easy to apply. So if you're a beginner, they're really great lashes to have in your collection, and they are reusable. So I'm gonna just apply these, and then we'll jump into the skin. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm about to pop on the other lash. I just wanted to show you guys the difference that falsies make. I mean, this eye is so much more lifted, elongated. The lashes are so fluffy, but they're not too dramatic, so they're not gonna to take away from the eyeshadow as you can see you can still see the eyeshadow I just love them so I had to just show you so 
I just like to apply them with tweezers because it is the easiest for me personally, especially because I have longer nails. And then I will press my lashes with the falsies so everything blends. I love these. And then sometimes I'll take the back of my tweezers and I'll kind of just like fluff them up a little bit. Just like that. Also, I almost forgot to mention the e.l.f. eye tapes. If you guys watch any of my videos, you know that I use these in almost every single tutorial. They are amazing for doing winged liner. I didn't use them today just because obviously I didn't do my wings, but even if you want like a really crisp edge with your eyeshadow, these are great. They're super gentle around the eyes and it's much more gentle than using tape. So had to mention these, they are super affordable and I always cut mine down the middle just so that I get more use out of them as well and they last even longer. So definitely check these out because they are the bomb.com. Okay, lashes are officially on. I'm gonna move into primers. So I actually have a few primers that I wanted to mention that I really love. The first thing is actually not really a primer, it's actually more so a moisturizer. This is the e.l.f. Plus Glow Radiant Moisturizer with coconut and hyaluronic acid. It also has SPF 15. I have talked about this for forever now. I actually took this with me on vacation and I wear this every single day. I think it just makes your skin look so beautiful and radiant and just naturally glowy. There's no shimmer, there's no glitter in this. It's just gonna really enhance your skin and make it look really, really pretty. So I'm gonna use some today just to show you guys how gorgeous it is. I absolutely love this underneath makeup or you could even mix it in with a tinted moisturizer and it's so pretty. Okay, so I used more than what you need because I just really wanted to show you. Like, do you see how pretty the skin looks? Do you see that radiance? Like, it just makes your skin look so plump. Like, you're literally J-Lo. Now, for primer, I love the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This is a dupe for a high-end primer, which you guys already know. The minute you put this on your face, your makeup is not going anywhere. So this really does a good job at prolonging your makeup. This is limited edition, though, so definitely get it while you can. However, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, this is a little bit more intense, so I definitely recommend this for my people out there who have maybe super oily skin, or even if you have combo skin like myself, you can totally use it but it really is what it says it makes your skin look poreless soft smooth your makeup also will last with this like there's a reason this was sold out for so long for real it's that good then for foundation today i'm going to use the flawless finish foundation this one is in the shade linen this is medium with golden undertones i am hoping that this is going to match me today i have a little bit of tan left over from my vacation so we're going to make this work i love this foundation the packaging everything about it is great it really is a flawless looking finish it has really beautiful coverage it looks really nice in pictures it lasts all day i actually did a wear test with this foundation a few months back i ended up going to the gym with this which i don't recommend wearing makeup to the gym but i did and it lasted all day and through a really sweaty workout so this this is it and of course I'm gonna use my elf total face sponge this is like one of my all-time favorite sponges it's like gonna be our one-year anniversary soon since I first discovered this I think actually maybe I discovered it a little over a year ago at this point this will make any foundation look flawless you can just see how much I've used mine and I have a fresh one right here but I don't I just I'm still using my old one because I love it so much I think hopefully this foundation will match I have another color but it's a little bit too light for me right now Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good match. I gotta zoom back in because this is just, look at this foundation. It is literally so flawless on the skin. Now mind you, like I said, I'm a little bit more glowy today because of the moisturizer that I used, but foundation is buildable as well. So if you want something a little bit more, you know, lightweight, definitely use one layer, but it is buildable. So if you're going out or something, it's a really pretty foundation. I would say the finish of this is definitely more on the natural side. It's not like too matte, too dewy. I'm gonna build it up because we have a pretty intense look today. So I'm gonna give myself some full coverage. I feel like I could probably go up like one more shade, but I'm gonna bronze and everything, so it should be fine. I don't wanna use a foundation that's too, too dark. So you can just see how pretty and fresh that looks. I'm obsessed. Even after layering it, it doesn't get cakey or anything. So this is the bomb diggity. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This one is in the shade medium beige. I love this concealer. It is very full coverage, super creamy, and it just works. It's just it. So I'm gonna take this right under my eyes, of course. I don't really like to use too much of this because I feel like you just don't need it. I used to do a lot of concealer like all over my face, but what I like to do is really press this in 
And then with any extra product that I have left over on the sponge, I will go in and apply it to my T-zone. See, like this combo is just everything. Under $20 for like full coverage, you really just cannot beat it. So obviously the sponge is a little big for the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush once again, and I'm just gonna blend the concealer right in the inner corners and a little bit under my eyes as well. This is really gonna just press that in and just blend that concealer in, in areas where your sponge just can't really fit. Okay, are we loving this combo or are we loving this combo? Like, let's just take a moment right now. A moment of silence. All right, I'm gonna do a little translucent powder, a little baking, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish up the face. Okay, I pretty much just baked a little bit under my eyes and I set like my T-zone, but now I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I have two powders from e.l.f. that I absolutely love and that I've been using for years. The first one is the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. I first discovered this literally in 2016 and this is such a good powder. It really makes your skin look porcelain, like completely flawless. It looks really good in pictures too. It's not gonna add any coverage to your face. It's really just gonna add that really like nice smooth effect to your face and it really is just a really nice powder this is good for touch-ups just to throw in your bag it's great another powder that I love this is actually one of the first powders that I ever purchased when I first got into makeup when I was like maybe 15 or 16 years old this is their prime and stay finishing powder and I have this one in the shade light medium this has a little bit of color to it so it is really nice for setting your cheeks or just other parts of your face so I'm gonna use a little bit of this today I'm just gonna take this and really just press it into the face Powders like this are really good if you know you're gonna be wearing your makeup for a long period of time. Sorry, I have like a fuzzy on my face, but it's really just going to make everything look nice and smooth and all of your products are gonna go on really smoothly over top, which of course, we love that. For the other powder, I'm just gonna use a smaller little brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this right around my T-zone. So nice. The good thing also about e.l.f., e.l.f. has a lot of really great dupes for a lot of high-end makeup products, and this e.l.f. HD powder is one of them, so. Since we're here, I'm just gonna finish up the lower lashes. Oh, almost forgot. Gotta set the brows. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is just like a tinted brow mascara, and I have this one actually in the shade Black. I really like this color because, again, since my hair is dark, this really just like counteracts well with that, so. Really nice tinted brow mascara. It's not goopy, it's very smooth, and your hairs, they're still gonna look like brow hairs. It's not gonna make you look like you have hairspray brows. Okay, so now we can do the lower lashes. So, of course, I'm gonna jump back into the same eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. contour brush for the eyes once again. I'm gonna take the shade Muse, and I'm gonna just smudge that right on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the shade Noir, which is just the black. I'm gonna kind of connect the outer corner of my crease to the lower lashes, just so everything kind of just comes together. Then I'm gonna use the e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just gonna take this to really smoke out the lower lash line. Okay, for the inner corners, I'm gonna use the smudge brush from e.l.f., this one. You could really use this for the inner corners or the lower lashes, but I like how tiny it is, so I think it's gonna be perfect for the inner corners. I'm gonna use the shade Blanc, and I'm gonna bring that down to the inner corners. See, it just opens up the eyes a little bit more. I'm also gonna be highlighting my brow bone with this shade as well. And then the final thing I'm gonna do for the eyes, besides lower lash mascara, is just take a little bit of their waterproof gel liner. And this one is just in the shade Coffee, which is just a dark brown. I'm just gonna line my waterline. I think the brown really makes like my brown eyes pop and it's a little less harsh than black. You could totally use black, but I love brown liner. Okay, then we got a bronze. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This one is in the shade Perpetually Tan. It's just a really beautiful warm tone bronzer. I'm not necessarily going to contour. I'm I'm really just gonna bronze the skin. I'm actually gonna use an old favorite brush. This is their pointed powder brush. This is really great for bronzing. It is pointed obviously on the end, so I feel like it gives you this really nice, like precise look. I don't know, I just really like it. 
that slight point really makes a difference when you're doing this. That's why I really like it. Just took a little bit of that same bronzer and I kind of just applied some right down the bridge of my nose or on the sides of my nose just so the nose isn't so bare and flat. I wanted to shout out one of my favorite bronzer brushes that I like for my body. This is ELF's 101 brush. This is the most amazing bronzer brush. You could really use this for powder all over your face as well, but I love it for bronzing my chest and my body. It's just like the perfect size. I actually have two of them. That's how much I love them. With this, I pretty much just take the bronzer, spread the chest open a little bit. <laughs> And then I just bronze the chest. I like to do this just to kind of balance everything out. Also even take this right on my ears because I don't really like to apply foundation to my ears. So bronzer does the trick for me. You can see, it just looks very bronzy, very nice. Now for blush, I'm gonna go in with their blush palette. This one is in a shade light. They also have a dark one. The light one is just a classic for me. I always go back to this. I've been using this also for years. It's just like that classic blush palette that is just so simple, but the blushes are really, really good. So I'm gonna use these two colors right here, the two peachy tone ones, because I wanna keep the blush very neutral today. I'm gonna use their stippling brush, which I love, and a lot of my brushes are fresh for today's video, which is like great. There's nothing better than clean makeup brushes. So I'm gonna take those two and I'm just gonna apply that right to the apples of the cheeks. You can just see how pretty it just gives you a really beautiful wash of color. I like to blend my blush in with the bronzer so that everything kind of looks seamless. Now for highlight, I'm going to use the Metallic Flare Highlighter. This one is in the shade 24 Karat Gold. This is actually my favorite one because it's really like that true bronzy tone gold. I think today though, since I have a cool tone smoky eye going on, I'm going to mix a little bit of this one and I'm also going to mix a little bit of white gold just because I want to kind of have a, the best of both worlds. A little warm, a little cool tone. So we're going to mix these two. These are really buttery. They're intense. If you are like me and you like to glow, oh, so beautiful as you can see. I mean, your skin literally will look wet. I like to do some right like on the forehead area as well. Down the nose. You guys, these are six dollars. Like Cool. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and line my lips real quick. Then for liquid lipsticks, I've talked about these several times in a lot of my drugstore videos. These are great. They're the liquid matte lipsticks and this one's in the shade Blushing Rose, which is like my favorite color. I love the applicator on these. It's like a flat pointed petal kind of applicator, which really is nice for outlining your lips and being really precise. This color, it's like a really pretty like cool tone rose. It's gorgeous. So you could obviously leave it like this, but I'm kind of feeling a glossy lip. I love me a good gloss. So I'm going to use their lip plumping gloss. This one's in the shade champagne glam it has really beautiful like specks of glitter, but it's not chunky. It's still really smooth and creamy on the lips and they smell really good too. I'm going to use a little bit. You see kind of like right in the center just to give the lips a little a little something extra. And these don't sting the lips. It's not like an uncomfortable plumping gloss. The last and final thing I'm gonna do is set my makeup and I'm gonna use the Dewy Setting Mist. This is my favorite dewy setting spray. It will make your skin look dewy, but not oily, just like, ugh, I'm obsessed. And obviously it makes your makeup last, which is great. And this smells like coconut, so it always brings me back to the summertime. So I really love this and I'm gonna just basically bathe in this. A very similar spray that they have as well as their Glow Dewy Mist. This one has coconut and argan oil in it though, so if you like that, you will also like this one. This one I feel like gives you a little bit more glow than their original, but essentially they are very, very similar and they both smell the same as well. The spritzer on this is like a little bit lighter, whereas the other one, it's a little bit more potent on the face, but they're both amazing and they're both gonna give you that really gorgeous glow to the face. As you can see, obviously my face is wet because I just bathed, but, once it dries, 
you will see. Okay, this is the completed look. A very cool tone, but honestly, I am living for it. I feel like this is just like that classic smoky eye that everyone used to wear all the time back in the day, myself included, and I really love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed filming it because I love being able to talk to you guys about my favorites. Clearly, you can tell how passionate I am about these products. I think they are amazing, and for the price, you really cannot beat them. So hopefully, if you guys were looking into shopping on Elf's website or or browsing around your local drugstores, this will help you out a little bit. I will leave, of course, everything that I mentioned linked down below if you guys are interested. And that is it. Big thank you once again to Elf Cosmetics for working with me in today's video. I am so beyond grateful and I'm grateful to you guys for all of your continued love and support. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in a few days in my next one. Bye. Just beautiful